Welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to create wallpapers for computers, tablets, and phones. This is a fun thing that you can upload to your website so that others can download them. So to get started, I have already opened up a template that I created with different sizes for all different screens. I'm going to leave a link below in the description and you can download this template and it is already set up for you to use. I'm just going to create a rectangle that's the exact same size as the artboard. I'm just going to go through and create the rectangle for each one of the artboards. Once you have all of your rectangles created for your different artboards, it's time to add in your pattern or design. I typically use patterns in most of my designs, so this is mostly going to be about adding patterns. If you have designs, like maybe you have characters or something, you can easily just layer them on to this artboard and then you can fast forward to the calendar part of the video. But like I said, this is mostly geared towards patterns. So I have the pattern tile, I've already created it and saved it. If you're interested in learning more about creating patterns, I will leave some links for videos here on YouTube, just look at the top right, you'll see like a little eye, click that and it will show you the videos. If you're interested in a little bit longer classes, a little more in depth, I will leave some links for the Skillshare classes. But one way of doing it, if you've watched any of my videos, you can take this tile, bring it into your template and then you can create your own repeat with it. But for this, I'm going to use a different method so click on the rectangle, that first one that you created, using your fill tool, or this one that looks kind of like a rainbow circle. If you click that, go up to the top and where it says type, change that from solid to bitmap. And it will automatically try to open a file. So I already have this one saved on my desktop. Click open. And as you can see, it automatically puts it into the rectangle. I am going to make sure that the lock is selected this, this way. The tile will stay the proportions that it needs to. Just click one of these sides. And I mean, you can move it around if you wanted to um, on an angle, but hold shift and it will keep it as a square. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna to switch to these other rectangles and go through and do the exact same thing for each one of these. So the last thing you need to do is add in the calendar. I have already created this one there's a couple different ways of doing it, so I'm just going to copy this, so Command-C, bring it over to the wallpapers, and Command-V. You can choose to either put your calendar in the very center of the wallpaper, or you can off-center it and put it kind of in the bottom corner, which I kind of like a little bit better. So you just want to update the colors so that it matches your design. I'm holding Alt or Option and dragging it to the next artboard. And then resize each one of these. So the other way of doing this is I'm just going to zoom in to this section. And I'm going to unselect these so that I can no longer see them. Actually, I'm going to turn that back on. I'm going to kind of move this to just right there. 
but I'm going to lock it so that I cannot edit it. And I'm going to take the eyedropper tool, grab this background color. I'm going to take the pen tool, change that color. I'm going to increase the pen by using the right bracket and I'm just going to go in and go over any of the motifs that I have in this area. It's kind of like erasing it, but you're just removing anything that's kind of distracting away from the calendar. And zoom back out. So that is both ways of doing the wallpaper. Um, one, you can just layer in a color behind the calendar, but it matches with it, so it looks really nice together. Or you can do probably my favorite method, and that's just kind of going into the background and erasing or taking away any of the elements that are distracting. You could also do, and I've seen this numerous times, instead of doing like the actual calendar layout that we're all used to, you can do just a straight line of the one through like 31 or 30, however many days in the month there are. And then on top of that number have the corresponding letter that goes with it. If it's like a Monday, do like M and one. And so it's just the two lines, which is an interesting way of doing it. Like I said, this is a really fun way of having your designs out there and giving people a way of adding it into their life. And it's a great way to spruce up your own electronics. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.